Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Bluetooth not showing a device manager or if the icon is missing on all kind of Windows operating system like Windows 11, 10, 8 or 7. So this will be applicable for all kind of operating system. And now keep in mind that by after applying all the solution that I will be sharing in this video, I promise that your problem will be fixed. And if yes, then make sure you do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more related videos in the future. Now the first thing that you have to do, you just need to check that your Bluetooth device has not been hidden. So for that, just make a right click on the Windows icon and from the list, choose Device Manager. Now here in my case, I can see the Bluetooth, but it's not working properly. So I'm just giving you all the solutions. Now here in the top, you will see few tab, action, view, help, so you need to click on view and then click on show hidden devices. Just click on it and then check back again if this brings back the Bluetooth device or not. If not, then we have to go with the next step where we have to run the troubleshooter. So just right click on the Windows icon and then choose settings. Now scroll down and here you will find troubleshoot. Now in case if you are using Windows 10, 8, 7, if you do not find here, you can also search here by typing troubleshoot. So just click on troubleshoot and then click on other troubleshooters. Now here scroll down a bit and here you will find Bluetooth. So just click on run and this will start detecting the problem. Check for the Bluetooth capability and let us know where exactly the problem is and accordingly to that we have to go ahead and fix the problem all right so you just need to wait until it's been completed now it says to fix your problem you must restart your computer and again run the troubleshooter pack you just hit next and here it will show you check bluetooth radio status so this basically majority of the time it happen if you're uh, Bluetooth services are not running on your Windows operating system. Okay, so what we have to do next, we need to enable the services. So just close everything. And now you have to press the Windows and the letter R key, R as in Romeo. And then here you have to type services.msc. And once the services box comes up, you can just maximize it. And then click anywhere and then press the B key, B as in Bravo, B as in boy. So it can come to the B section and here you have to look for the Bluetooth. Now related to Bluetooth, we find three services here. Bluetooth audio gateway service, Bluetooth support service, Bluetooth user support service. And what we check the what is status that it's all been triggered to manual. All the three services have been triggered to manual. So we have to just make it automatically and check that whether the services are running or not. I am very sure it's not running because the running status is not showing up here. So I click make a double click on the first one. And you can see it has been stopped. So first I have to just choose the startup type and change from manual to automatic and then click on start. Okay, once done, click apply and then click on OK. Now come to the second one, double click on it. This has also been stopped. Now click on the startup type, choose to automatic and then click on start. Apply and then OK. Now again with the last one, that is the third one. It has also been stopped, so we will choose automatic. Start. Then apply. And then click on OK. All right. So now you can see all these three services are running now. OK. So what you can do, you can close everything and then make a right click on the Windows icon and choose Device Manager. And come here and check again if the Bluetooth you find the services here or not. If not, then you have to click on the action and just click on scan for hardware changes. 
So it will just scan and probably this will bring it back. And still, if you do not find, no worries. I have another solutions. Just click on action, then click on add legacy hardware. Hit on next. And from this option, you have to choose install the hardware that I manually select from a list. You just select this option, then hit on next. And now you have to look here for the Bluetooth. So just keep looking here. Keep looking in the list. And in case if you do not find the Bluetooth, then you can go with the network adapters. In case if you do not find, but first you need to look for the Bluetooth. And like in my case, I don't see Bluetooth, so I go with network adapters and then hit on next. And now you will see these list will be coming up. So from the left hand side, you have to click on Intel. And here from the right hand side, just look for the Bluetooth and see whether we find it or not. OK, we don't find Bluetooth, so we go with Intel Corporation. And let's see whether if I find here or not. So you can just keep looking here. Okay, you can need to keep looking to make sure that you do not be in a hurry because you may miss it. So keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down and look for the Bluetooth. I only get Wi-Fi in the wireless, but I don't see the Bluetooth. Okay, no problem. You can look for in the Microsoft as well and see that if you find here network adapter okay network adapter i don't see here as well in the microsoft corporation i don't see in the real tech you can also in the look in the real tech if you find it then what you have to do you just need to click on it and then you hit on next okay and then you just need to manually add it and then check back again it will be here okay it's my already added now it's not showing me in the list but probably when you try you will see in the list so make sure you spend some time there look in all the uh, files so probably you will get it back now after that all doing all kind of solutions if you still don't see it if you find it here but you don't know how to access it or probably you don't get it here then what you can do you can just create a shortcut so that you can easily access your bluetooth and that what the priority is that we can access the bluetooth services on our pc okay so what you have to do you just need to open your folder file explorer and then go to c drive and here you have to look for windows so just click anywhere then click on w and then go to windows and then go to system 32 so you can click anywhere then press the s key and here you will find system 32 just click on it double click and here we have to do one thing that it's a long list so instead of looking on the very right in top you will see search system 32 and here you need to type f s q u i r t and then hit on enter and you will see f s q u i i r t dot e x e so we are looking for this one now make a right click on this and here click on show more options and then click on create shortcut and okay so it says do you want the shortcut to be placed on the desktop instead i say yes all right so what i do i just uh, check my icons and probably i will get it here here it is so now if i click on it so you can see that it says it's working i can just send the file i can receive file so it's working for me okay this is how exactly you can get your bluetooth and that exactly what i promised you in the beginning that you will be able to use the bluetooth on your windows pc all right so hopefully this will give you the solution guys i have covered all the solutions so that in case if it still doesn't show here in the start bar then at least you can access your bluetooth 
all right so probably this will give you the solution and if yes guys make sure you, you hit the like button before leaving the video subscribe to the channel for more related videos in the future thank you so much i see you in the next video bye bye